Amen? So as you move from grade to grade, amen? Understand that Christ is able. You need to move in victory knowing that Christ is able to keep you. Yeah. You don't have to fall by the wayside. You don't have to succumb to everything. You don't have to give in to everything. You can stand because you know the word of God and what the word says. The scripture that we read today in Matthew 14, 25 through 30. Verse 30 said, But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, Amen? He was saying, Lord, save me. He cried out saying, Lord, save me. Amen? And so we need to understand that in the time of trouble, we need to cry out to God. We know that we have people telling you that, oh, that's not proper. You don't have to do that. That's not necessary. Of course, we're living in this time now where things change a whole lot. But the Bible said that he cried out. See, when you have a need of people, you will cry out to the Lord. The Bible said the blind man, he was blind. And he only heard that Jesus was passing. And he cried out to him. But the funny part about the story is that the people around him, the religious people, the Christian people, they said, you need a hush up. Don't you know who's passing by? He said, I don't care. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Because when you have a need, you will cry out to him. And you will call him. Amen. And I, do, I know that you do know how to call I watch you because I'm around you most of the time and see that you you know how to talk. You guys can scream when there's something that gets your attention. You guys react to that. And so you need to understand that you need to react to the word of God. Yeah. You need to react to what Jesus is saying. And when something hits you in the heart, lift up your hands and give him praises, give him glory and honor. For the Bible said that he again inhabits the praises of his people. Yeah. And so he cried out and asked the Lord to save him. You must be focused. Pay attention. Walk the path. Stay the course. Stick to your goal. Amen. Listen to your teachers. Be respectful to them. And the Lord will bless you. Won't have any problem. Well, let me submit to you this morning. That, you may, that it may well be the same for many of you as you launch into this new school year. There will be boisterous winds that will be blowing in your life. And, and hear me carefully. There will be boisterous winds of, winds of peer pressure. Boisterous winds of heat of peer pressure. You will be pressured to do things that you know you have no business doing, young people. You will be pressured to do things that you know if you do that, you will get yourself in trouble, serious trouble. So you want to stay away from that kind of peer. Amen? Keep your nose, keep your head clean. Hmm. Boisterous winds of I don't fit in. And so they will pressure you to fit in. And must be a part of the you must be a part of this clique, this group, this crowd. And so you'll be pressured to fit in. And if you're not fitting, then you'll feel like you're all cast. And you may want to react to that. But don't get caught up into the boisterous wings of yeah. I don't fit in. Yeah. Boisterous wings of temptation. Yeah. It's gonna come from every side, from every handle. It's gonna come to you. The temptation is gonna blow in your direction, but you must be strong enough to say, I know better than this. I don't wanna get myself mixed up in this kind of nonsense or garbage. My parents taught me better. My church people preach the word of God, and I know right from wrong. I am not gonna get caught up in this kind of nonsense. You can keep it. I'm on my way to a better place or better things in life. Boisterous winds of rejection. And so when you're not a, being a part of this group, you might be rejected. Amen? Yeah. They, they don't want you anymore because you don't want to be their friend, so you're rejected. You push aside, isolated. You're just by yourself for a second. Nobody talked to you, nobody called your name. But remember that God is your friend. We sang every now and then that I am a friend of God, and He calls me friend. And if God is your friend, your friend does what matters. Be your friend. Mary Jane don't have to be your friend if they're going to lead you down the front path. As long as God is your friend, then that's what matters. And thank God today that you and I, we are a friend of God. And He calls me friend. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. And if Christ is my friend, that's all right. 
wings of persecution. They'll persecute you. The Bible said that they will persecute you. Yes. Amen? Yes. They say all manner of evil about you. Uh -huh. But make sure when they say these things, the Bible said, as long as they are false, it's not true, then God is on your side and God will bless you. Amen? Yes. If you give them something to talk about, yes. they'll talk about it. Amen? Yes. If you give them something to say, then they will say it. But make sure when these boisterous wings of persecution, and he even boisterous wings have not been able to make one single friend. And so the devil will throw all these different wings, boisterous wings, wings, I'm not able to make one friend. And you may go for all entire school here, not making one single friend. But that's all right. Stay with the word. Stay in the word. Have Jesus Christ in your heart and in your mind, and he will see you through. The Bible says that he promised that he will never leave you or forsake you. He promised he will be with you throughout all. Ages. And if God says it, then God settles it. Thank God it's not my word. It's not your word, but it's the word of God. I will be with you, and I will never leave thee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, never leave me. Yeah, yeah. And if that is not enough, that's right. That's right. boys, those wings of depression. Amen. Now you feel depressed. Because now I'm not in the groups, and I'm not in the cliques, and nobody even called me friend. So now the person sits in, and you're not sure if you're in the right place. You're not sure if school is even worth it, or college is even worth it. You're not sure what's happening, and so you feel broken in heart, and broken in spirit, and you want to come back home. But in the name of Jesus, you're going to stay the course. Amen? Run the race with patience. Hallelujah. Stay the course, and finish the course in the name of Jesus. No curse, no child, no children, no young person. From Silver Spring, he's gonna mess up and jump out of the race. No, we're not gonna have that in the name of Jesus. We're gonna pray you through, we're gonna sing you through, we're gonna talk you through, we're gonna push you through. You must! Are you